the 123 Online Form Builder is exceptionally powerful. With a form builder, you can add an unlimited number of forms with an unlimited amount of questions. The results of the forms will send to an email address of your choosing and will also be recorded in the database of your website, accessible on your dashboard. If you've purchased the form builder, you'll be able to create your own forms. You've got access to the Add Questions tab, the Edit tab so you can adjust the order, the Preview tab so you can review the form you've just made, and the Options tab where you can define what email address your form gets sent to, the thank you message for your visitors, and you'll be able to enable Capture which reduces spam. Clients who have not purchased the form builder will only have access to the Options tab. If having the ability of creating your own forms is important to you, make sure you purchase the form builder from the Apps Marketplace. Let's start with the Options tab, which is available to everybody who has a form, or has purchased the form builder. It's pretty self-explanatory. The form name is the title of the form. The message to display when completed is where you can create a custom thank you message for your visitors to read once they've completed the form. This will only be relevant if you haven't set up a specific thank you page. The notify me by email is when people submit this form is an important box. Make sure you have this ticked and your current email address is inserted into this field. When your visitors fill out the form, you will be instantly notified by email. You can also require a capture device by ticking this box. A capture device basically enforces your visitors to enter a code that is displayed on the site. This prevents your form from being filled out by spam bots. If you're getting a lot of spam or you get a lot of hits, it's a good idea to tick this box. Finally, you can redirect your visitors to a thank you page after they complete the form. This isn't necessary as your message has the message to display when completed box which will display by default. However, if you'd like a specific thank you page, first you must create that page. Just exit edit mode and create the page as you normally would. Let's call it thank you. Next, go back into the app, tick the redirect to another page box and then select the page that you've just created. If you haven't purchased the form builder, that's where your options end. If you have, here's how to create your own forms. The add tab is where you add all your questions. It's really simple. Just type in your question, select the answer type. If it's a required question, tick the required box and then click add question. It's as simple as that. Repeat the steps for as many questions as you like. Remember to click the add question once you've completed each question. Choosing update before you click add question won't work. You've got several answer types to choose from. Text fields are small text boxes. Text areas are big text boxes. Radio buttons and select boxes. Your visitors can only make one selection per question. Just enter each section on a new line. With checkbox lists, your visitors can select multiple selections per question. With checkbox lists, enter each selection on a new line. With file uploads, your visitors are offered the option of uploading a file along with answering your questions. The form builder also has email addresses, telephone and web address boxes. With these question types, the form enforces your visitors to enter answers that resemble a true answer. For example, with the email address box, it forces your visitors to make an answer in the correct form of name at symbol domain name dot co dot nz. The edit tab is where you change the order, edit existing questions or delete questions. To edit questions, click edit, then save changes. To remove questions, simply click remove, and to change the order, just choose the up and down arrows next to the question you'd like to move up and down. Keep in mind, how the form visually looks is system generated, so you won't be able to change this and customize form field links box styles, and so on. The preview tab is just that. 
It simply allows you to preview your form. When you've made all your updates, just click Update, save your changes, and the form will appear on your website. If you'd like to copy a form and use it on another part of your website, you'd do so in the same way as you copy any blog. Simply select the blog, click Copy to Scrapbook, click Add to Scrapbook, and paste the copy of your form to anywhere you'd like by going to the desired page, clicking Paste from Scrapbook, and selecting the form from the preview.